glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We've seen some thrillers in the MAC championship game over the years. 2012 season, two teams were playing for what turned out to be a spot in a BCS game. The Mid-American Conference Championship game is coming up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. for the MAC Championship. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. The Bobcats always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. bring him down at the 34. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Brought down at the 45-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. From their own 45-yard line, first down. <laughs> Leaping interception by the linebacker. And he's level at the 48. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. Fires incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Sack for a loss. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle at the 30-yard line. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Oh, 
They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. So the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punt the ball and change the field position. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. Rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. made at about the 39-yard line. You'd like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From their own 39-yard line, first down. They'll work the left side. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 39. Results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a team of six on the other. That brings him second and five. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. to about the 37-yard line. Now 
he's scrambling under pressure heading for the corner and he's taken down at about the 45 about eight yards there on the scramble Ohio's out of timeout It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. Five wide. Play and that'll set up a first and goal. Spikes the ball. It's second and goal. Ball on the five. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. What a productive year he's had. He's tied the record for touchdown grabs. Well, he's been their go-to guy when they've needed a score. He's the definition of a clutch receiver. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Ohio is up seven. Makes it out to about the 40. down 10 yards to go ball on the 40 throws it deep got it to the senior his unbelievable year continues he's now the record holder for single season touchdown catches he's added so much to this offense with his skills as a receiver and his ability to get into the end zone this is a nice individual honor for him Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That makes it second and two. Second and two. Ball on the 39. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards to carry. Steps out at the 36. From the 36 yard line, first down. Bring him down. 
down at the 20. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Ohio is up a score. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a game of That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it out to about the 46. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's to the 20. He goes down at the 30-yard line. Great timing to call the run right there, and it paid off in a big way. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. to his tight end, and he's tackled at the 45. The Rockets are going to call their second timeout. Just under two to go in the game. Runs it right, nice pickup. He reaches 1,500 yards with that carry. I just continue to be amazed by this back's vision. There are not that many who are better at finding a hole and hitting it hard. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's tackled in the open field. 
Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 28-yard line, first down. this guy that they can go to late in the game. Well, they can isolate him and get him in one-on-one -on -one situations like this. He's going to come up with some big play. He made the big play for the score. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Ohio 35, Toledo 28. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? Ohio started this season with one thing on their mind, playing here for this trophy. And now that they're the MAC champions, nothing feels better than reaching a goal you strive for all season long. Congratulations. undefeated and for the Rockets they drop below 500 on the season with today's loss